Okay, here we are. Another classic Sonic game right after Sonic Mania. It's been a few years, but we're finally here. Gotta say, I love how we're getting love for not just modern Sonic, but we're also getting a lot of love for classic Sonic, apparently. Now, there's some commotion in the Sonic community that classic Sonic and modern Sonic can't coexist and you shouldn't compare the two gameplay styles, which I personally think is kind of dumb to think this. I mean, they're both Sonic, rather it be classic or modern. Well, we're still talking about the blue fucker here, so it doesn't make sense to me what we're talking about. Classic Sonic should be better, or Modern Sonic should be better. It, it, does it matter? Regardless, it doesn't matter to me personally. I love both Classic and Modern Sonic. They're, to me, it's just Sonic. I, I personally don't care about this commotion in the Sonic community. I'm sorry to come off as a negative right off the bat in this video, but I had to get this off my chest. It's been there for a while. So, it's been six years since Classic Sonic has been absent from Sonic Mania, or if you want to count Sonic Forces, because apparently it's canon. We finally got a brand new 2D Sonic game, or in this case, a 2.5D Sonic game, which that kind of worried a lot of people considering that it's Sonic 4 all over again. Sort of. Which, by the way, Sonic 4 is bay. If you get the reference that this is your an OG viewer, and I appreciate you for sticking around this time, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom! Damn it. You know, after the initial teaser of Sonic Superstars, I was pretty thrilled about this game. You know, the gameplay that was being shown, it was hitting all the right notes for me. What was really concerning for me though, were the new Chaos Emerald powers, and how they were going to be utilized in this game. Is this going to be like a one-time thing for Superstars, or is this going to be like, we're going to go with this going forward, and you guys are going to probably like it. Probably not. Who knows. And after playing this game, I really don't know how to answer this because you sort of forget about the damn powers unless the game will tell you like, hey, you can use it at this part of the stage, so use it. And that's about it. It's just a handful of times that actually happens for me. I was just playing the game like any other classic Sonic game, so it's really rare for me to use these powers and only get reminded that you can actually be using the Chaos Emerald powers or you just get reminded that you actually get the Emerald power after getting a Chaos Emerald. Which is kind of a bummer, but I totally understand why the developers didn't want to push the powers as hard as they would like to. You know, you want to keep the familiar gameplay just with a twist and you know what, that's exactly what this game is. It's your run-of-the-mill Genesis classic Sonic gameplay with new powers. Which I give this game props, the physics are almost, if not identical to Sonic Mania or the classic Sonic games, which gets no complaints from me. I appreciate that there is nothing different about these physics, I'm all good here. I want to say there is a bit of a difference though, maybe it's just the 3D models fucking with me, but I don't know, it just, it, something's a little bit off. I mean, I want to say it's the same feelings as Mania. All right, so we can talk about the story, I, I guess. I mean, you know, classic Sonic games, they really don't have much of a story that's more focused about the gameplay than anything else, which perfectly fine for me. I mean, I like classic Sonic games as much as the other guy. A uh, story is just a little bonus for me, in my opinion. And speaking of the story, uh, it's not very long, so I can probably summarize it in just a few sentences here. So let's get out of the way, shall we? But before that, we do have another prequel comic, just like Sonic Frontiers did. In it, we see that Robotnik has hired Fang the Sniper. Yes, I'm still calling him that, I don't care. And Robotnik tells him that he is hired to handle the North Star Island so he may conquer the world. Fang is paid by Robotnik to hunt any threats that stand in Robotnik's way. Fang accidentally fires at one of these giant flickies, and this flicky wasn't having any of that shit. But it didn't last too long and is quickly defeated and captured. And making a grand entrance is where we find Trip. And as Trip trips, Fang takes Trip hostage. That's a lot of trips in that sentence there. Oh, bro. Once all the giant flickies are captured, Robotnik pays Fang for doing his job. And Robotnik goes on about showing a cartoon dragon on a piece of paper, whatever that's about. You might want to remember this part of the story because I was lost as fuck when I actually got to the final boss. Robotnik also sees Sonic and Tails on their way to the island to... Explore? I'm not sure exactly why they would go into the North Star Island, but hey, this is where the story truly begins. Later. And with all those zones out of the way, and defeating Robotnik at Egg Fortress, our heroes crash land on North Star Island and celebrate with the victory. And depending on who you play as, you actually get different cutscenes, which I found out while making the script. Very cool. Of course I got Sonic when I defeated Robotnik, it was the obvious choice for me. Now this is actually not where the story ends. Remember that drawing of that cartoon dragon I was just talking about? 
<laughs> well, this fucker decides to. St yeah. I'm not entirely sure where the fuck this dragon came from or has any significance to this plot. It's just out of left field and I think it's hilarious. I guess the developers didn't want to make Robotnik the true final boss again. I'm gonna take it anyway. I'm just saying, why not just have Fang and Robotnik create the ultimate robot to defeat Sonic and his friends? This dragon comes out of left field, I don't know where the fuck this dragon came from. Sonic turning into Super Saiyan defeats the dragon while Trip gets a fucking egg? Stone? This thing also just popped out of nowhere just like the dragon did. I mean, wh where the fuck did Trip get that? I know I'm reading way too deep into this. I I can't help it. You're looking at it. They made animated cutscenes for this. and I have to ask these questions. Well, this egg stone dragon thing seals off the dragon and everyone celebrates and can finally relax. That's it. That's that. That's the story. That's, that's a very simple story, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, it's a simple story and somewhat confusing on some aspects, but I don't really have a problem with this story. The only problem is, is that fucking dragon. It was just not needed. I would have been totally fine if Fang was the true final boss and Super Sonic is facing him or or whatever. I mean, I know it sounds cliche as hell just thinking about Fang being the true final boss. I kind of want that now just thinking about it if I'm being totally honest. It's funny because I usually don't complain about a classic Sonic game or its quote unquote stories as they're usually just so simple, but that dragon part really bothers me. And I'm sorry, I, I know I'm gonna get a lot of fleck because of this damn dragon and I really don't care. We've had some really, really questionable things in this franchise and I, I think I'm none to it at this point. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The story, for the most part, is enjoyable. It's sweet, simple, somewhat confusing. But how's the game? You have all the characters from the start except for Trip. Trip is a unlockable character by beating the game. She's kind of unique, she's a mix of sonic speed, and she can climb up walls as like, kind of like Knuckles, but she spins onto it. It's really cool, and she also has a double jump just like Amy. The levels are screaming with classic Sonic themes, which I totally adore here. Not all of them are great though, some of them are just plain bad, like the cyber station level. I don't like this level whatsoever. Or the sky type of level. It just screams Sonic Advance 2 for me, and I don't like that. I don't. It reminds me of Sky Canyon. I'm just anticipating for empty pits everywhere I turn, and I just don't like it. Don't even get me started on the Egg Fortress level. But hey, let's not slam the entire game for a few bad levels. We did get some good ones, like Bridge Island, for example, or the Speed Jungle. That's also a good one. Ooh, Pinball Carnival. Now that's a good level. I like this one in particular because it referenced Sonic OVA. I never thought this would be ever referenced in an official Sonic game. I love and adore Sonic OVA the movie. Sonic OVA was a big part of my childhood. I can go on an entire video on just how much I love Sonic OVA. The music, the art style, the animation. It's all great for me. I can just watch that almost every day. And you know what? I kind of did as a kid. So what did I do while playing Pinball Carnival? I played Lookalike. I, you know what? I, I just, it just felt right for me. I, I... <laughs> It felt right to me, okay? Playing look-alike while playing Pinball Carnival? Trust me, you'll you'll thank me. What's funny about Superstars, I had a lot of nostalgic references, if that makes sense. Like Sonic Advance 2, Sonic Rush is another example, Sonic Heroes, I mean the list goes on. This game is not perfect by any means, and no, it's not better than fucking Sonic Mania, let's make that clear. Now is it better than Sonic 4? I think we can all agree to that and say yes, the controls feel right for the most part, the designs of the levels and character models are on point, or whatever Sonic's mouth is fucking doing, I, I don't know, <laughs> what's he doing dude? My real gripe with the game right now is how long these levels can fucking last dude, like fuck me, it can last up to 8 fucking minutes. And you know what, I get it, Sonic Forces levels, they lasted for about 40 seconds to 2 minutes at times, but come on, let's not drag out the levels either. I know I just said that the level design is pretty spot on, and you know what, it is. I just don't like how long these levels last, and that's kind of my main gripe with it too. I just felt drained at some of these levels at times, and you know what, I wanted to close the game out and just take breaks, because you know what, I just wasn't feeling it. This also goes for the bosses as well. Especially towards the end game, my god, I was here for fucking ever. Robotnik in the main story lasted me a good 45 minutes, 
Robotnik is tough as a final boss, and you know what, that should be said. But I'd rather fight Death Egg Robot any day of the week, if I'm gonna be honest. Robotnik was not really the main issue here. It's Fang and the true final boss in the game. Oh my god, I was so drained while playing these two bosses. I just wanted the game to fucking end! Oh, and I forgot to mention, once you defeat Robotnik in the main story, you actually unlock Trip Story. Which makes you go through every level again as Trip. It's kind of like the Knuckles portion of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. These levels are ridiculously hard too, let me just add that. I lost the amount of times I've counted on getting hit on every single level. It's like an emotional roller coaster, dude. And once you get back to Egg Fortress as Trip, you fight Fang instead of Robotnik. Fang has multiple attacks that can kill you with one hit. Even if you have rings, dude. You have to hit him at least 20 times. And just like that, you enter his second phase. Oh boy, another 20 hits. This game doesn't want to fucking end. And if you die in the second phase, you have to fight his first phase all over again. It's tedious and it's frustrating. I'm holding in my anger just by talking about it because I, I was here for fucking ever, bro. <laughs> I was here for a really, really long time. Fang has nothing compared to the true final boss in Sonic Superstars. It's this purple piece of shit. This fucking thing is probably my most hated final boss in all of Sonic history. I'm not even joking, dude. Give me another final boss any day of the fucking week. I'll have an easier time. Give me Sonic Advance 1, 2, 3 at the same time. I got you. For starters, you are extremely limited with rings on this final boss, the Purple Dragon. I don't even know his fucking name. It doesn't really explain it. The dragon loves not giving you the chance to grab any rings. You know what? That's kind of realistic. So I, I can't be too mad about that, but it's really frustrating fighting him. Tails and Knuckles show up from time to time to give you some rings and same thing with Amy and Trip, but they're really hard to, you know, spawn and shit. It's, it's random. It's, it's literally RNG even how these guys spawn in. And if you touch either Tails, Knuckles, or Amy and Trip, they'll give you additional rings. So don't rely on the rings that they're just giving out. Go ahead and actually like give them a high five somewhat and they'll give you additional rings. So always rely on them. Oh, should I tell them? Should I tell them? Yeah, I'm going to tell them. This boss has a second phase too. Yep, and just like what I said about the second phase for Fang and Robotnik, if you die in the second phase, you gotta start at the beginning. Oh, did I mention that there's also a quick time event at the very end that you have to do at the final boss and your rings still go down? Yeah, the QTE for the very end of the final boss, you know, it's not that bad. You know, it just lasts for about 15 to 20 rings or so, so um, good luck on that. So if you have less than 20 rings and you're about to die, you're about to die. So with that being said, I actually defeated the final boss, and my screen did this. It stayed white, and I was wondering, you know, what's happening here? Is everything okay? Am I gonna go to the next cutscene, or well, what's what's going on? So I just kept hearing flapping wings the entire time on the on the white screen. I was. I was really confused, I was hitting every button I could, nothing was working, and all of a sudden, I heard this. Oh, come on! I was demoralized at this fucking point. I felt so fucking empty here. The struggle for this game was real. So, what did I do? Well, I'm no punk bitch. I stuck to my guns, and you know what? I played look-alike from the OVA movie once more. <laughs> and you know what's really sad right here about this final boss? It's not like the game is hard, but in a fun way. It's hard and it's fucking annoying for half the time. Sure, I was having fun, but my god, what, what, what happened here in Sonic Superstars? They just cranked the difficulty to fucking 11. Just like, what? You know, when I played Sonic Origins for the Sonic Origins Plus video, I was having a lot of fun the entire time. I mean, I'm not going to repeat most of the things I said in that video, but you know, I can brush out some of the missing features from previous collections. The games are still there, they're intact, I'm not going to complain too much at this point. But you know, at least Sonic Origins was not fucking difficult. And granted, I played these games for many years, but come on, this doesn't have the same charm as the original games at this point now. Not even Mania was this fucking difficult. And I think that's what I realized here about Sonic Superstars, it's just... It's just an okay game. I was really excited for this game personally. It really bums me out that they really dropped the ball with lengthy levels, 
difficult bosses at the very end, it still has a lot of good with it. The regular bosses, except for this one, were all cool in their own way and I appreciate the ideas of these bosses. They feel like classic Sonic to me and I had a lot of fun with some of these bosses. They were challenging but they were fun. There's still a lot of enjoyment that you can get out of Sonic Superstars, but the bad parts really stick it out for me and that's where I say, it's okay. Maybe they'll fix the bosses in a future update. I don't see the levels being updated whatsoever. The levels are pretty much stuck the way they are. All I can really ask for, if the bosses had half the many hits that was required to beat them, I think I can go a little bit easier on Sonic Superstars as a whole. But even then, I don't even see that being fixed. Oh shit, the Chaos Emerald. I totally forgot about the Chaos Emerald, oh my god. Alright, uh, I guess we can talk about the special stages. They're no different from Sonic 3 and how you have to find the ring and jump into it. The special stages remind me a lot of Sonic Lost World 3DS in a way for those special stages, except it doesn't function the same. There's no gyroscope control scheme or anything like that. No, they're kind of like you're Spider-Man and you have to get the Emerald. Spider-Hog, it's... I did, not, I did not think I was going to reference Spider-Hog in a Sonic Superstars video. I don't have a lot to say with these special stages in particular. You're, you're just Spider-Man here. <laughs> That's all I can say. Now there is a battle mode for you can do for multiplayer, which I personally haven't done that yet. Jaden, I know if you're watching this, you know what to do, dude. I guess it's that part of the video if I should tell you to pick this game up or whatnot. Here's my answer. The answer is yes and no. Yeah, it's one of those games. I'll give some pros for the game itself. The controls of the characters are great, and level design is spot on except how fucking long these are. Music is Sonic 4 in a good way, if, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. And of course, the bad things about this game is the length of levels, three final bosses that take fucking forever. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The rest of the game is totally fine. Other than that, I do recommend it. I just want to warn you all that each act of the game, it's going to take more than five minutes. Just letting you know. Oh, I feel better after getting that out of my system. I was looking forward to this game, I truly was. And unfortunately, it just missed the mark at the very end. Oh well. You know, I can't really say if I'll ever come back to Superstars, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It'll probably be a yes, but I think this game needs to digest more in my system than in anything else. We'll see in due time. Alright, with that being said, I'd like to thank every single person watching this video for tuning in. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for sticking around to the very end of the video so you all get a big shout out. Trust me, it means a lot for everybody watching this video, it really does. And if you're still watching at the very eggment of this video, yes I said eggment, that's a pun, comment Sonic Superstars 23 and I'll heart your comment. But before I go, I'd like to ask you all one thing. If you played Sonic Superstars before watching this video, tell me in the comments how do you feel about Sonic Superstars? And you haven't played it yet? I'd say wait for a price drop, there's no rush on getting into this game. Okay, I'll talk to you all later into the next video, and I hope you'll have a fantastic rest of your day, and remember to stay cool.